Hello science kids! Welcome to our Science 4 video lesson. For today's topic, we will discuss the effect of the environment on the life cycle of organisms. The environment plays an important role in the life cycle of organisms. Organisms interact with non-living materials such as water, air, and soil. As organisms grow, it is also expected that they socialize with other organisms which may be their means of food. Just like us, human like us need water, food, clothes, and shelter for us to survive. These things are all our basic needs. That is why the environment are important for us to grow and perform our roles based on the species we belong. The environment is composed of biotic and abiotic factors. Now let us know about the biotic and abiotic. Biotic factors are those things that have life or simply call it as living things. In contrast, abiotic factors are components that have no life, or we call it non-living things. The interaction of these two factors affect much the development of an organism. It may be the plants, animals, or microorganisms like fungus and bacteria. Organisms may interact from one another in beneficial ways, but there are also some interactions that harm other organisms. Organism to organism relationship may also be affected by the habitat's physical conditions such as amount of sunlight, water, and food. In general, these actions and reactions happen naturally to maintain a balanced ecosystem. Now, what is ecosystem? Ecosystem is the largest and most complex level of organization consists of all animals, plants, and microorganisms which function with all environmental factors such as sunlight, climate, soil, water, air, nutrients, and energy. It is also a complex unit of the environment wherein these biotic and abiotic interactions and organism-to-organism -organism relationships happen. Abiotic factors such as climate, amount of sunlight, water, air, and nutrients affect greatly the way of living of organisms. So, let's talk about the effects of the abiotic factors like the effects of air. One of the abiotic components is air. Human, animals, and plants need air to survive. Air is made up of essential gases that living things need to endure. If the air becomes polluted, it will be hard for living organisms to grow well and reproduce. Exposure to polluted air will cause coughing, asthma, and diseases of the lungs among humans and animals. Air pollutants decrease the ability of plants to make food through photosynthesis. A mix of air pollutants and fog produces a smog, which makes the air difficult to breathe, which is also bad for the lungs of humans and animals and not healthy for plants. One of the abiotic components is air. Human, animals, and plants need air to survive. Air is made up of essential gases that living things need to endure. What about the effects of space? Living things need space. Not the outer space, ha? Huh? But actually an actual space to live and breathe. Overcrowding, especially in animals, can result in stress and diseases. Thus, it is not good to the health of the organism. A mix of air pollutants and fog produces a smog, 
which makes the air difficult to breathe, which is also bad for the lungs of humans and animals and not healthy for plants. One of the abiotic components is air. Human and sun is a very important environmental factor in the ecosystem. Without the sun, life will not be possible on Earth. Remember that the sun gives us energy, light, solar power, heat, vitamin D, and even ultraviolet rays. What about the effects of water? Water is very important for survival of living things like plants. Plants need water when they manufacture food through photosynthesis, the process where plants transform the energy from the sun into food. Humans. Humans need fresh water for organs to function. Water makes our bodies absorb vitamins and minerals from the food we eat. It also helps to regulate our body temperature. We use water for drinking, cooking, washing, and cleaning. It is also used in growing food and in producing electricity. And for animals, it provides a breeding ground or temporary home for animals which spend part of their lives in water like frogs. These abiotic factors like air, space, sunlight, and water bring effects to the life cycle of living organisms. That's all for today, kids. Happy learning and thank you for watching.